So you mentioned that there are uh, several touches which are needed to be able to generate a lead. And by that, are we referring to a final contract or are we referring to a meeting? Or what's in your book? How do you define a lead? <laughs> well, to be frank, um, we are not talking when we are doing outbound. So actually outreaching to a, a cold database of contacts. We're mostly referring to a lot of touches until you actually get a yes or a no on for a decision maker to talk to you initially. So not, not necessarily until you sign a contract. After that, you know, the lead gets qualified and they get into your sales process, like the initial demo conversation, the proposal, the closing contract and so on. But when you are doing outbound and obviously this varies depending on, you know, your target profile, some would be more approachable or maybe on your particular offering if this is something that you know there's a high need on the market for and uh, people will answer quicker or if they are really qualified and we know that those people lack the expertise that you are coming with or the product and so on but usually from what we've seen you have to be persistent in touching base with them several times until you get, you know, a yes or a no. <laughs> and most, from what I've seen, most salespeople or maybe even pre-sales people, they kind of give up much too early into this process. So they will send like maybe one initial message, a second, a third one, and most of them stop after the third and the fourth. And the most successful campaigns we've seen were the ones that went over that barrier and they kept on outreaching to them until, you know, seven to eight touches. Now it's true that in order to, to make this process, you know, digestible for the prospect you cannot go to them with very salesy messages eight times you need to have something new every time like maybe you need some pieces of content you want to share with that prospect or maybe you want to outreach to them on other channels as well like we've seen a good mix recently between a, a linkedin campaign combined with also a um, telemarketing telesales campaign so you send a few messages on linkedin then you call them then you can also also invite them to your own virtual event or webinar. So it has to be a mix and they have to see, you know, value in the messages you send, but it takes time and a lot of touches and you need to be patient.